Police are still looking for possible suspects in this shooting. Tonight, locks are on the door of the hookah lounge, and there's really no sign it'll open anytime soon. A notice on the door says its business license has been suspended. Manny's glow after dark has just a temporary sign above the entrance and relatively unknown to workers we met at the surrounding businesses in the strip mall. Because it's got to be fairly new. I mean, I've, I've been in this, I've been working in the shopping center for a long time. County records show it just received its license as a restaurant January 27th of this year and then suspended Saturday. Through the windows, you can see remnants of cleanup and trash from that early morning. Like there were so many people that were that saw what happened in there. I feel so bad for them. I mean, they, they waited in there for hours in the pool room for homicide to get here. Investigators spent the weekend interviewing witnesses, gathering surveillance from surrounding businesses and looked for stray bullets. Police believe two suspects exchanged gunfire inside, but fled before police arrived just before dawn Saturday. I've never seen anything like that. Never. And I mean, it's two blocks east of the strip you know, on Sahara. So like, what do you expect? The coroner identified the man killed in the shooting as 33 year old Las Vegas resident Demetrius Beard. I spoke to his family at a large vigil they held outside their home, but they respectfully asked for their privacy. Police have not provided an update on the condition of the other 13 people shot. As of Saturday, two others were still in critical condition. I'm Drew Andre, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.